How's it going my fellow viewers? Operation White Noise has officially came out for all platforms and I decided to make a video rating the three operators from best to worst. Now before I start the video, just need to remind you guys that this is my own opinion so don't take to offense if you do not agree with me. Now let's get started. Starting off the list with the worst operator out of the three, it is the defending operator Vigil. Now when I first saw Vigil's trailer, it seemed like he was going to be a really cool operator to use but that was not the case when I played him. Don't get me wrong, he has a pretty awesome loadout, but when it came down to his ability, it was kind of disappointing, honestly. The biggest issue I had with him is that it tells the enemy that there is a vigil around the area, and that kind of basically negates his whole effect. The whole purpose of his ability is so the enemy doesn't know that he's there when they're droning, but when you give them that indicator that there's a vigil around the area, they know you're there. For example, there's this one time my teammate needed me to watch his drone to watch his back, and even though I didn't see Vigil pass by, I did see the indicators light up on the camera. And since I did warn my teammate, he was easily able to kill Vigil with no problem. So to me, the biggest issue with him is that notification on the cameras. Also, another small issue that I have is the fact that it only lasts around 30 seconds. 30 seconds might seem like a lot of time, but it really isn't. Some enemies drone for a while, and by the time they're done using their drone, they're probably going to spot you because your gadget is going to run out. So for me, I think Vigil definitely needs that indicator removed off cameras when he is around the area. And also, they need to extend his time of his ability or just completely remove the timer. Now, coming in the middle is the attacking operator, Zofia. This operator is brutal given her arsenal. She has two really powerful guns. Her assault rifle does heavy damage while her LMG has a 150 round magazine, which means there's going to be a lot of pre-fire from it. Also, you're probably never going to have to worry about reloading during a gunfight. And that's just another plus. On top of this, her ability is the KS-79 Lifeline. This launcher gives her the ability to shoot two impact grenades and four concussion grenades. The impact grenades come in handy very well. They can remove barbed wire pretty easy. And her concussion mines are really effective since they will activate immediately if there is an enemy around. Now I think that's really cool because if you do hit the enemy, you will know since it will activate immediately. The only issue I have with the concussion grenades is the fact that it doesn't really affect you that badly. It's not like a flashbang. You could still aim at your opponent and easily shoot him. But besides that, I think she's an awesome operator and a great addition to the attacking team. And then I mentioned she could do this. He's securing the room. Now, Sophia was really close to being my top pick, but the next operator, honestly, I liked everything about her, and that is the attacking operator, Dokubi. I think overall, there's not many flaws to Dokubi. She has an amazing arsenal of weapons and gadgets. Her ability is what really made her stand out to me, being able to give away any enemy's position at any time, twice a round. That is a lot of power for one single operator to have, and not to mention the fact that she can also hack into the enemy's cameras, including Valkyrie's black eyes. And I know that the vending team will shoot out the cameras once they figure out it has been compromised, but it's honestly still a win-win for the attacking team. I say this because even though the attacking team doesn't get to benefit from the cameras, neither does the defender. In fact, they have to destroy their own cameras in order for Dokubi not to use them. So you technically lose nothing as an attacker and the defenders lose all their cameras. Now when you are playing Dokubi and you do use that logic bomb of hers, the number one thing I like about it is that it makes you feel really secure around roamers. A lot of the times you could hear roamers around the area but you don't know exactly where they are. That's why this logic bomb comes really in handy because you could easily just call them and figure out where they're at. Of course the only exception to this is the operator Echo since he is the only one you cannot call with the logic bomb. But I doubt you're going to see many Echoes roaming around the map. Also in a very high stake environment it's very easy to see how Dokubi can easily change the course of a match. Seeing all this it's very easy to see why I picked her as my number one operator for white noise. She is very fun to play and very useful to the team, and that is why she simply gets the number one spot. Well, that would end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, hit that like button. Also, leave in the comment section below what operator you liked out of White Noise. And once again, guys, thanks for watching.